And the dramatic two-day search of Nicola Sturgeon's house by police has come to an end after her husband Peter Murrell's arrest yesterday morning. Murrell, the former chief executive of the SNP, was released without charge last night, but images of scores of uniformed officers searching their home and party headquarters have sent shockwaves through the separatist movement and across Scotland. The 58-year-old's arrest was in connection with the Police Scotland probe looking into the spending of £600,000 earmarked for the Indie Ref 2 campaign. Meanwhile, Sturgeon pulled out of a climate change event at the Edinburgh Science Festival tonight as police continue to investigate the SNP's funding and finances. And the party Queen Nick officially resigned as leader of less than 10 days ago is now in complete and utter disarray. Senior SNP figures now questioning the timing of the arrest with some supporters of leadership runner-up Kate Forbes insisting members were duped into voting for continuity candidate Humza Useless. And as a leader, is inept, as useless, the man whose record as justice, health and transport minister is unrivaled in its gross incompetence, really equipped to guide his party through this crisis? So tonight, I'm asking, as the police finish their extraordinary raid on the home of their former leader and chief executive, is the SNP finished as a political force? Dan at GBNews.uk, vote in our poll at GB News. But to debate this now, I'm joined by the Humza useless supporter, Austin Sheridan, a member of the SNP, former Scottish editor of the Daily Telegraph, Alan Cochran, and Commons leader of Alex Salmon's Alba Party, who really could benefit from this SNP turmoil, Neil Hanvey. So, Alan Cochran, uh, this is bad, bad news for the SNP, isn't it? Yeah, they're in a shocking state. The, the thing has, they've been expecting something, but nothing as sensational as this. And they're in a, well, they don't know which way to turn, I'm afraid. The, well, I'm not afraid, actually. I'm quite pleased. Uh, the SNP looks in a, in a downward spiral that they can't get out of, and led by a leader who doesn't really know what he's doing. And I suspect that we can celebrate the demise, the gradual demise of the SNP. But wait a minute not necessarily the end of the independence movement, as I'm sure Mr. Hanvey will tell you yeah. shortly. There's another party. In fact, there's two other parties. There's, there's the Alpa party, which is, did nothing at the last election, in spite of Alex Salmond saying they were going to sweep the board. And there's also the Scottish Greens, who are frankly a waste of space, but for some reason people vote for them. So the SNP are in deep, deep trouble. Independence <coughs> is still alive. Austin Sheridan, your party's collapsing, isn't it? Absolutely not. I mean, I don't think there's any shying away from the fact that this has been a, a difficult period for the SNP, but we're under new... That's leadership. the understatement of the under, century. Since we've been under a new leadership, we've continued to lead um, in the opinion polls in Scotland. Um, obviously, as I say, um, it, has, it has been difficult. It's been really sad for SNP members. It's been bruising for SNP members to see... Um, this go on, um, but you know the SNP are the resilient political party. Hamza Yusuf is the resilient leader and the resilient first minister, and he'll continue with Scotland and continue to deliver for the people of Scotland. And I look forward to supporting him um, over the coming years. But Austin, Hamza today said it was a conspiracy theory that if the police had raided. Uh, the Sturgeon household earlier, he wouldn't have been elected leader. But it's not a conspiracy theory, is it? It's complete fact. There's absolutely no way he would have won if people knew what was coming down the line, because Kate Forbes only very narrowly lost that leadership election, 52 to 48. Uh, Police Scotland to decide um, when they're going to carry their actions, um, no one else. And, you know, and as I say, so it's, it's up to the police um, on the timelines that they choose to, to pursue. In terms of the leadership election, they had a robust leadership election, uh, a very feisty debate. Hamza Yusuf won the election. He has a mandate to lead the SNP. Lead the SNP, he will. And lead the SNP, he will to victory in future elections. Uh uh, Neil Hanvey, so you're obviously uh, the Commons leader of Alex Salmon's Alba Party. Now, look, whatever you think about separatism, and you know I'm completely opposed to it, all of a sudden, Salmon uh, looks like a very attractive leader of the movement, doesn't he? But is there a way, given what Alan Cochrane just said, is there a way for you to actually harness that into winning seats? Um, well, uh, first of all, I don't think Hums is quite as bad as uh, you portray him to be. 
Um, although he Do you think he's useless? Is he useless? An enormous, an enormous challenge uh, that I think he's ill-equipped for and I don't think he's making the right decisions. It's true that the SNP... OK, but would you call him useless? Is he useless? Uh, well, uh, I, I'm not going to get into, into uh, journalistic uh, repartee. I'm, I'm a politician, not a journalist. Um, but, um, you know, the, the SNP is absolutely in a mess. And unless Hamza makes some serious changes uh, to his policy platform, then I think the SNP are at very great risk of spiralling out of control. I mean, the, the um, lunacy of continuing to pursue GRR and to allow um, mm. activists to have, like Austin, to attack people online and to make light of assaults on women uh, without any consequence mm. is really yeah. not the way. Which, which J.K. It. Rowling called Austin Sheridan <laughs> out for, actually. Uh, but look, Alan Cochran, I just want to I just want to speak for a moment, Alan Cochran, about the Scottish media and also the UK MSM as well, because you are one of the few people in Scotland who has held Sturgeon's feet to the fire over many years. But isn't it disgraceful, Alan, when you look at the huge focus uh, that the media throughout the UK had on the Boris Johnson party gate investigation? You know, a misdemeanor every single day they were leading on the story for month after month after month. Yet they'll sit down in front of Sturgeon over the past two years and will not even ask her about a missing £600,000. Well, to be fair, most of the media, or at least some of the media, even in the or should I say the London media, asked her that question. She said it's nothing to do with that. As in other words, she didn't know anything about it. You might remember it was a similar circumstance when she was fighting with Alex Salmond and they had a row in Nicholas' house and, and her husband denied no knowledge of it. I think he was making the mince or something or having a shower. He said he never discussed party problems with his wife. Now, this is all rubbish. She must have known something about it. And... Talking to senior lawyers today, I, I discover that they all say she must be interviewed by the police on this mm. missing Well, money. she says she but hasn't been asked yet. She says she hasn't been asked yet. Neil Hanvey, you wanted to come in there, sorry? I do. I mean, I, I understand Alan taking that position, but this story was broken by Wings Over Scotland three years ago. This issue has been alive in Scottish uh, um, online media for a long period of time. Stuart yes. Campbell... I tweeted yep. this week that he informed journalists across the country about this years ago. Totally. Uh, and I totally. And understand. they put all their um, effort so into, into a birthday oh, cake yeah. at Downing Street. I completely agree with you. Uh, Aust Austin Sheridan, how does Useless turn this around? Because you're cratering in the polls. This police investigation isn't going away. What's his strategy? What's his plan? You were one of his earliest supporters. Yeah, well, Hamza useless strategy um, is to, first of all, deliver independence. That is our strategy. It's always been the SNP strategy. Oh. And our strategy for doing that is going to be reigniting our campaign um, and moving the dial on independence. It's just a shame that Neil Hanby, you know, as a nationalist MP, is again on here advocating um, that we shouldn't stand up for the democratic vote in Scotland's national parliament for gender recognition reform. Any politician worth their salt who believes in independence would, would back up the democratic wishes of Scotland's national okay. parliament. All right. Whether you agree with them or not, we had the debate, and, and in the Scottish parliament, the majority of MSPs voted for gender recognition reform. And Neil, it's about time you started respecting democracy as well. OK, thank you all. And obviously, we do have to clarify in this is an... Where was okay. it in the manifesto? <laughs> Nowhere. Was Good, point. Manifesto, Good point. Good point. Thank you all. I'm going to call time on that because I do just want to say, of course, that uh, this is an active investigation. Uh, lots of contempt laws uh, that mean we can't talk in detail about what the police are investigating. And of course, Nicola Sturgeon has made it clear that she will cooperate with the police if she is asked to, as have the SNP. So thank you to the SNP Backer Austin Sheridan, former Scottish editor of the Daily Telegraph, Alan Cochrane, and Commons leader of the Albert Party, Neil Hanvey. But who do you agree with here? As the police end this raid on the House of Murrell and Sturgeon, is the SNP finished? Uh, Ran on Twitter writes, Sturgeon is, 
And hopefully so is the fawning, self-entitled clique she surrounded herself with. For the SNP to survive, it needs a sharp break with the direction of recent years. From Charlie, of course not. They are the governing party and will no doubt have power once again in 2024. And Sean writes, the SNP are fake nationalists who want fake independence because they want independence from the UK, but then want to join the EU and immediately lose their independence. I know, that's something that blows my mind on a constant basis. Actually, your verdict now in. 83% of you say the SNP is now finished as a political force. 17% of you say they're still in the race.